Last weekend was interesting for sure. If you haven't lived in Iraq, you might have known that the KSI versus Logan Paul 2.0 fight happened last weekend. And yours truly was there. There's a whole lot of waiting going on. I'm a little sleepy. Just a little bit. Jake Paul came through, then he dipped. How much of the stage can people see right now? Hey guys, I have reflective glasses just talking to you using this. I can't tell if you guys can see what's going on. Where basically the bandana bandit won with two points over the Toy Story alien himself. But there was a lot going on that night and a lot of hilariously dumb comments that surfaced after that night. So let's just jump into this interesting day and night together. Just jump into it. Exactly. November 9th, we get to the event thrown by DAZN, spelled Dazen, but I guess it's DAZN, watching countless amounts of boxing matches that we had no idea who the people fighting even were. And while we were watching a bunch of fights where we had no idea who was actually fighting, apparently the devil from the, the Nerd City universe over there, he was locked outside of the Staples Center because of his skin color in 2019. I've been denied entry to the Staples Center. Apparently Jesus was still welcome, but sure, people don't see color anymore. They specifically said it was that I'm colored. I think I might have a case. So in all seriousness, I guess it was a facial recognition error in like the security system of the Staples Center. Meanwhile, Jesus just gets in fine. So uh, yeah, there was some bias going on here, definitely. And according to them, face paint is the same thing as a mask, so they didn't actually let him in. This situation is like kind of sad because I feel so bad for the devil missing out on the fight, but so funny at the same time. Meanwhile, we were just sitting inside the venue watching how the entire crowd was more interested in the influencers entering the room than the boxers actually fighting. The, the main thing that's in the center of the room, people weren't even watching that. They were just like, oh wow, hey look, is that the Wolf of Wall Street? No, yeah, it, it was kind of like that. Hence why this fight should have been a content creator fight only. It would have made things way more interesting like the original fight rather than an attempt of this massive corporation to get these YouTube fans into boxing. So with that, I'm also going to remind you to cancel your DAZN subscription if you bought it only to watch the KSI Logan Paul fight. But back to the pre-fights, we thought the fight was about to happen because this dude, who literally looks like Logan Paul, suddenly walked out. And then he goes on to end his opponent in one round. Ha, if only the fight went this well for the real Logan, we might have not had as much salt after the fight. So just to start everything off, after the fight, Logan Paul gave us the reason he didn't win. I think nine out of 10 times I beat, I beat JJ. Tonight was the night that one out of 10 times. You can hear my voice. I'm sick. I woke up sick. I've been sick for the past three days. The first thing I did this morning was sneezed three times. And then I've been sneezing throughout the whole day. Called Shannon. I was like, yo, should I take Dayquil or ibuprofen before the, before the, uh, fight tonight he said no because it'll mess up my heart rate but i try to push through it i kind of um hoped that my adrenaline would take care of the sickness and it, it, if i'm being honest with you it took away that that killer instinct i woke up and sneezed three times i'm done it sounds like me when i was trying to like make an excuse for being late at high school no i'm, I'm sorry I, I woke up i called my parents i asked them should i take ibuprofen or some advil nah they, they just they just sent me to school this is why i'm standing in front of you professor this is why i'm late actually it's a teacher in high school never mind wasn't he like i was gonna take dayquil but they said it would throw me off <laughs> Woke up this morning, first thing I did, sneezed. Like three times, I was going to take a day quill. Your teacher's like... Th this is why I couldn't show up for my math exam. <laughs> <laughs> Now, nah, in reality, the reason he did not win was because he landed two illegal hits by first landing a legitimate punch, but then grabbing him by the back of the head, landing another punch, and then he landed a 12 to 6 punch as the man was falling. And then the ref explains it by saying he gave Logan Paul two points for that initial punch that was legal, and then took away two punch for those two extra hits that were not legal, basically making that transaction worth nothing. But then you had Logan going on Instagram and saying he was going to contest the fight's outcome, and then Shannon Briggs going on live with KSI briefly arguing about the fight's outcome as well. Then Jake Paul just comes out of complete left field saying that all boxing is rigged and that the entire fight was rigged. It's just some real salt coming out of the Paul Posse right now. But here's that clip. KSI said no to the trilogy, of course, but with the two points taken away after that knockdown, of course the score would have been different and it. Logan would have won. I think we'll contest it. I think the commission should contest it. And if they don't flip that decision around, like, then it just blows. 
know? And uh, at the end of the day, like, you know, I've been in this sport for uh, a year now, and like, I probably shouldn't be saying this, but all of this you know, you see people whining and dining each other. You see people at Staples Center. Like, who was at the, who was at the Staples Center last night with KSI? Joe Markowski. You know, people, people, be, people, this sport's rigged for sure. 100%. This sport's rigged, he said. 100%. Okay, so Jake Paul says it's all rigged and that he's known this. Yeah. It's kind of funny, though, because what if Logan won? He just would have been like, ah, ha, ha. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And he also like tweeted out, um, literally, he tweeted out the morning of the event. He tweeted, time to let the fists do the talking. Hashtag Team Paul. Meanwhile, like he loses the fight and then they all just start whining on Twitter. The solid is just pouring out. He was rigged. Oh, it's, it's all rigged. rigged. It's all fake. It was so rigged. Well. He had lunch. He had lunch in the Staples Center before. He was here yesterday. So it means he, it, he rigged it. My brother was sneezing. It's an unfair fight. Three times. He sneezed. He woke up this morning. You know what? The first thing he did? Sneezed. No way. Three I'm times. I'm so sorry for him. We, we he could have taken a day quote, but actually he t he was told that he couldn't because it would mess his game up. If only he took that day quote, he might have won. What if he just took a whole pack of a uh, day quote and just seized out? Became oh. <laughs> I was going to say it became like the ultimate like <laughs> lord. I don't know. <laughs> no, but we're barely just opening the Pandora's box when it comes to Jake Paul's Salt River. Jake Paul out here like the Dead Sea? No, straight up. <laughs> so obviously he tweeted that tweet in the morning claiming that he wanted the fists to do the talking right now. Hashtag Team Paul. Of course, we know the outcome now. So obviously the Salt River just continues. So apparently this dude wrote a paragraph whining, claiming that he's a natural boy born fighter coming out of the suburbs of Ohio. Tonight was absolutely insane. A legit movie, win or lose, everyone should be proud of what the community accomplished. History was made. I want to purposely start by congratulating Kizai for the victory. I've gained a level of respect for you tonight that I didn't have before. Although I don't, and many people don't agree with the decision that was made, it is what it is. I received dozens of texts from boxing professionals and refs saying that they never seen two points taken away from a fighter since Mike Tyson bit off the dude's air off. Absurd. My brother won that fight and is clearly a better boxer. Kizai was saved with the decision that the referee made. Over a minute to recover in the corner after being knocked down? Insane. I haven't been in the sport for long, but can tell you it's not everything we think it is. Lots of money and pushed dollar sign narratives we don't know about. Rigging. I can't wait for my opportunity to fight KSI and the stepping stone to get there. I don't want to throw my brother under the bus, but he isn't a killer like me. I was a kid in high school getting into street fights for no reason. I'm a natural board fighter with a lot of pain built up inside of me that I love to unleash. I hope the commission properly overrules the terrible decision that the referee made, but it is very unlikely. I wrap this up with love for KSI I have and love for my brother. He's in incredible spirits and nothing can stop him there. He's incredible and inspires me to this day. I know him. He's a warrior. His loss means nothing to him, and he will get back to what he does best. Better than anyone in this world for his age, content creation, and entertainment. But I know the sport is for me, and I will avenge my brother. Thank you all for tonight, and the sport will be amazing. I can't thank you enough. And please remember to kiss for my life. Thank you so much. So my friend Sir Yacht, also from Ohio, couldn't have made a better response to this post by Jake Paul. So I'll let him take it from here. Just to clear the air up before I start the video, I do not like Jake Paul one bit. I think he's a terrible person. I think he's a horrible influence on kids. And I grew up in Northeast Ohio, like 10 minutes down the street from him. So I know he's not a good person. Jake Paul is Satan. So Jake Paul released a really dumb statement right after his brother Logan got beaten by KSI in a professional boxing match quote unquote and it's really long and grammatically incorrect and it almost gave me a concussion so I will let you read it yourselves if you really want to. We'll highlight a few dumb things he said however. First I'll start at the bottom like Jake Paul claims he started at. He says we never had we owned a landscaping company and worked for minimum wage. Man, we had it so hard as kids. We would work and cut grass and do minimum wage things. Sometimes mommy and daddy wouldn't let us take out the Mercedes Benz when we wanted to. His parents were real estate moguls, like they did pretty well. I was the kid in high school that got into street fights for no reason. I grew up 10 minutes down the street from Jake Paul. Jake Paul's street fights were on a street that ended in a cul-de-sac. So don't let him fool you. Also, he probably started all of these fights because 
because he bullied kids growing up. I have a lot of friends that he bullied. And he manipulates small children with undeveloped brains into thinking he's a victim, when in reality, he's a giant douchebag. I'm a natural born fighter with a lot of pain built up inside of me that I love to unleash. Man, I'm just a natural born killer getting to these streets fights by jumping kids and getting them to be so sad that, it, that they go get therapists and, and school counselors because I'm just such a savage. Man, I got so much pain built up inside of me right now. It's like when my parents wouldn't let me drive their Mercedes E-Class. I mean, they let me drive it, but they wouldn't let me put the top down the convertible. Jake Paul grew up in the mean streets of Westlake, Ohio, one of the most prosperous neighborhoods in the entire state. I want to show you a neighborhood just like the one Jake Paul grew up in. I won't show you his actual house like he did to Post Malone, which is illegal. All right, I'm pulling up now to a neighborhood just like Jake Paul's. Here are the mean streets of Westlake, Ohio. Look how mean and not giantly enormous these houses are. You can believe me when I say that Jake Paul more likely got into a Yu-Gi-Oh battle than a street fight. Man, such a struggle growing up. We had a three-car garage and everybody else in our neighborhood had a four-car garage. Make sure to follow at Sir Yacht on Twitter. He's hilarious. You guys would not regret it. And finally, apparently there was some feud between Vitaly and some gym bro in the audience. I'm not going to show it due to YouTube's strict guidelines, but it was basically just two big, big alpha male gym bros who probably bumped into each other and the other guy's like, oh, I got bumped into. I have to be very manly and punch the dude to show off my manliness. I don't know. They're all just unbalanced on their hormones due to probably juicing and sh so, hey, but I mean, they diffused the entire situation within 10 seconds, but still a really odd thing to happen. I didn't even really understand what happened when it was explained. It was just like one of them punched the other guy in a moment. Yeah. A moment of what? Like you were just like excited about what's going on. You just punch your friend in the face. But you see like hear the clip where they're like, bro, we went to Fiji together or something like that. It's like, bro, <laughs> why are we even fighting, dog? I don't understand why it started. Or what oh my God. Goodness, I don't, I don't, I don't know either. But hey, overall, what did you guys think of the fight and the event itself? What do you think could be done better for the next event? And what do you think was the big oopsies in this event? But on that note, I'll be ending today's video here. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like on it. If you're new here, I welcome you to the channel. It'll be awesome if you subscribed. And if you want to follow me outside of YouTube, you can find me as Adatozy on Instagram and Twitter. Links will be down in the description down below, and on TikTok as Atozy was taken. But on that note, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Run into the bag like I'm so athletic I've been up since six making hits like tennis I've been on fire, I just need my credit Wanna go far, need to change my settings Reaching for the stars on my feet, touch heaven I've been head first, bitch, I already want seconds